Hello once again to my HO Slot Car Racing fans. This is Mark Natividad over at West Coast Slot Cars in Los Angeles, California, bringing you another exciting video. And I decided to do this video instead of fixing and repairing and breaking down cars. We're going to do a track tour. And without further ado, let's pull away and take a look at this baby. All right, let me give you a really good shot of this track. This is now a 4x12 AFX four-lane track. And it was originally an eight-foot track, so there's a new section. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I'm sure you can because of the carpet. The eight-foot section there is the original section that I used when I was doing parties and events. And it was two four-by-four four pieces, so now there's three four-by-four four pieces. There you go. There's the new wood in that section as well. And the track design, the layout was originally taken off of hoslotcarracing.com. And for those of you who don't know that site, it was a very extensive slot car racing website. A lot of content, a lot of information. He had a lot of layouts on his website. And I took this one off of his site, which is called the Ravina 35. And that was, again, that was eight feet. And I, the 12 foot now would, probably make it closer to 45 or 50 feet in lane length. So there is the layout, Ravina 35 expanded. And this is one of our club layouts. And I have this set up in my living space, in my living area here, my entertainment room. And it just fit. And I have another track, which is a four by 16 max track. It will not fit up here because it is uh, it's being rebuilt and it wouldn't fit anyway because I'd have to go over or under to just to get in that door right there. All right, let's get back to the track. You can hear the lap timing going on, lap counting going on. The timing system is again off of the hoslotcarracing.com website. This was again developed by Greg Braun and I believe it's called Lap Timer 2000. And that's running on, uh, are you ready for this? a Windows 98 IBM computer. I'll have to give you a shot of that. Here you go. I have, uh, let's see, what else? Features. I've got a nice sound system, a Klipsch sound system on there so we can actually listen to music and hear the lap timing and put in a um, microphone so I don't have to yell. And here is the uh, timing gantry, which is an infrared timing system. And again, the schematics and everything were taken off of his website. I built this myself. I'm pretty good with the schematics and wiring. So the great part about building it yourself is that when you do have a problem with it, you can fix it. There you go. There's the yellow lane sitting there. The reason why the yellow lane isn't running is because it's the tightest lane with the tightest turns and I would have to control it myself. All right, let's go over to some of the other little features here. Of course, this is just for scenery. There's my bleachers. And due to COVID, there's nobody in the bleachers. I'm sorry, <laughs> disappointing, isn't it? And here is another little building, which I believe used to be an HO train building. Stuck a little NASCAR sticker on there. There's another sticker around the side, Tyco. Let's walk around the other side. Back side. There you go. Cool. And since we're here, let's move down to the power supply. See if I can get down here. It might be a little dark, but I'll see what I can do. There you go. That's a pretty good shot. That's a TrackMate power supply. It's a 30 amp power supply, which is adjustable, and it is plenty of power for the track. All right, let's go on over to the computer here. You can see the lap timer in action. The great part about this one, it, it may be an old lap timer, but it does save races. And I looked up some of the records from the races. I have races all the way back to 2013 logged in here. So. That's, that's a great thing. And I, I know that most of the software programs now don't allow you to save that information. So as, as promised, there you go. An IBM computer. There's a mixer down there as well. That's a subwoofer to the clips. And all the, all the under pilings here, boxes for controllers and parts. There you have it. That is the track. And you're probably wondering who the heck is racing? Well. We're doing ghost racing today, and ghost racing is basically a term we'd like to use for something called rubber band around the controller. Very low tech, but it does work. 
course you have to do some adjusting. And then once you get it adjusted, you're all set. So uh, let's see, what else about this track? We run mostly stock. We run some uh, Tycos, AFX, Magna Tractions, G+, Plus, Super G+, Plus, Mega G, Mega G+, Plus. every once in a while some Super Stocks, but it's a real short track. So you definitely have to uh, change that gearing so you can get more torque and handle those corners. But it's a fun track and I am rip roaring, ready to go to race in 2021. And because of COVID last year, we had not one race. So this track was actually put away for a while. I spent the weekend taking it out, dusting it off, putting it together, checking out all the functions, the wiring, cleaning the, the rails for the lanes, making sure the software system worked. And I would be playing music, but it would be a little too much. But it's nice when we get the music cranking, so you can play whatever, whatever genre of music you like to race to your favorite race tunes. And there you go. Just in case, standing by is, of course, our ambulance. <laughs> All right. There you go. That's the track tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And I want to do this one. This one's definitely a fun one. The camera that I usually use to shoot videos, which is on a tripod, didn't really want to film well. So guess, guess what this is being filmed on? An iPhone, shot on iPhone. I think this is an SE. Anyways, and I plugged in my uh, microphone so I don't have to yell and I don't sound like I'm in a, in a hollow tunnel. There you have it. That's the track tour. If you'd like to race with us here at West Coast Slot Cars, we're in West Los Angeles, California. Hit me up, www.westcoastslotcars.com. You can get my info here. Here's my card. There is my info, my, my number you can reach me, my partner's number, Tam. Give us a call if you're interested in anything remotely having to do with HO slot cars. All right, that's gonna be it. I'm going to wrap it up and also say thank you to all the manufacturers. Thank you for all the people that are putting their time and effort into this hobby, keeping it alive and making it fun. There's so many to name. I've named so many of them. It will take me another 10 minutes or maybe five at least. But you know who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it fun and creating parts and, and keeping this wonderful hobby alive that is so worthy of sharing. All right, in the meantime, keep racing your HO slot cars. Race happy. And again, this is Mark Natividad over at West Coast Slot Cars in Los Angeles, California saying goodbye for now.